Good evening, I'm Siwa Bili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV. Well, I, I hope you're doing well tonight, because I'm sick. I brought my handy-dandy Kleenex, because I'm going to be sniffling and, uh, and sweating, but the show must go on. So here we are, and you have to excuse the Kleenexes, and I'll, I might sound like a frog, but rib it, and we'll just keep going on. Hopefully I'll be well in time for the NCLR conference. That's going to be in a few weeks in San Diego. That's the National Council of La Raza Conference. So let's take a look at a little clip of when it's coming on. Rosa Maria, baila mi cumbia la mar. Rosa Maria, baila mi cumbia. Rosa Maria se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. Rosa Maria se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, me te vamos a bañar. Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, me te vamos a bañar. And that's always a great event, so maybe you can make it down to San Diego. It's about a four-day conference and a lot of fun, a lot of good energy there. So come on down. Native Voice TV will be there covering the event. We'll bring you some clips after. Um, I have a couple other things to tell you, but I think I'll put those off because right now I'm really excited. We have a special guest here, a very talented artist. And uh, he was with us about a year ago. And I'm very pleased to welcome back Johnny Clay. Welcome, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you, you for having me. And you brought your beautiful work again with you. And I'm so excited to see a lot of new things that you've been doing and where you've been showing it. So tell us, introduce yourself to our audience in I'm case they didn't meet you last time. Okay, I am Johnny Clay. I, uh, if you watched so last year, I, I'm an artist, a pencil artist. Um, and I've just been drawing Native Americans. Uh, for the last two years, so it's really taken off. And uh, what tribe are you? I'm Pomo, I'm Wailaki. Okay. We're from Round Valley Indian Reservation. And you are so talented. Stop it, thank well, you. Well, you know what I really couldn't get over is that you said you did that with a pencil. Yeah, I do it with a pencil. I can't even write with a pencil and you're yeah. drawing with it. They, I, I get, when I tell people I draw with a pencil, they say, well, what number pencil do you, I, <laughs> I, I really don't know. It's a number two pencil, I don't, I don't know how to use all the other number. I know some of them, I, I, I just can't get the same results, so I just stay with what I know. That's and number. why did you start with number two, because it was just there? I think it's that's the, the first pencil that we had around the house, and, and so my, my tools are simple, and, and th there's always a number two, you know. But you've, d you've been doing native pictures for about two years um, before that. How long have you been? Oh, I, could, I guess you could say off and on most of my life I drew sketched a little bit and I wasn't sure wh where I was going to go as far as uh, what I like to I just like to draw everything. So um, I was drawing everything, trees, cars, and uh, I really like people and so I just got focused in on the uh, Native Americans. I like the look and so I channeled my, you, my ability and so here we are. Well, you know what amazes me? To me, they look like photographs. They are so, I mean, they're so real. You know, they're looking at you. They're so full of life. Well, thank you. I really strive on uh, photographs. When I look at a picture, if it's got to capture me, I could look through 100 pictures, and uh, if it doesn't come to me or if I don't uh, like it, I mean, if it, the eyes have to be clear, and that's what I really go for. So. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at what we have here. Maybe you can explain... What, who it is, where you got the picture, why you did it, why you chose that one. And we'll start with the one back here. Okay, that's Wolf Robe. Uh, that's probably his most famous uh, pictures. I got that picture from the Library of Congress. And I've drawn him uh, probably 10 different times. I drew him and drew him until I really was happy with and satisfied with the look that, it, that I was getting from the photograph. Um, and that looks like a photograph. Well, that's thank what's you. so amazing about your work. So, and, uh, and I'm happy with what I have there, so I, I think that was enough times drawing him, so I went ahead and... And what tribe is he? 
Um, he's a Northern Cheyenne. Northern Cheyenne. Wow. And you, other than the library, it's hard to find these pictures. Very hard. Oh. Um, okay. Some of these pictures I found in books, old books. I'll go to the secondhand store, maybe maybe get some uh, uh, a book, and mm -hmm. and there might be just one picture in in a book, and I'll use that for reference for my pictures and. Uh, and I'll look on the internet for, and I can't find that picture nowhere. So I, wow. I have some rare books that are just very, you know. And it's great that you're reproducing them with your art. Now this one here. That picture, uh, James Garfield, uh, he's an Apache. I found that picture in a National Geographic uh, Archive magazine. Really? Yeah. Wow. That is but I can't incredible. find that picture. That's the prime example of I can't find that picture nowhere else. But. It was in the National Geographic. Wow. And I like that picture. That is, that is. I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that is just incredible work. I'm just so, so taken with your work. Thank it's you. So, so good. And the next one over is? Uh, Bull Bear. Um, he's a medicine man for the Blackfoot Nation. I was, I, I really like the, um, the way his hair was, he just had the, the pose is different. It's not something that you common I, that I draw, which is a side profile, which is more difficult for me mm -hmm. than the uh, when a, just looking straight on to them. And his hair, I was amazed. I couldn't understand what the hair, but he's a medicine man that shows his status, who he mm -hmm. is, and what he is in his in his tribe. Wow. So, and that's the latest one I just drew. Did you? Yeah. So I finally, I, I had been looking at that picture for the last year, but I wasn't ready to take it. I think I've tried before, and it's just something wasn't right. And That's so, a call to you. Okay, I'm ready now. Draw me. Yeah, and so there he was. So I said, I, was, I felt I, was, I had enough practice, and so I challenged him, and I gave him the shot. And Fantastic. So I'm really pleased with it. And you brought some other pictures here? Yes. Um, I can move these out of the way okay. so we can take a good look at them. Here's a picture of Geronimo. Um, that was 1903. He was taking pictures, and uh, for and I, I'm so amazed by the. He was. They were only giving him 50 cents for a photograph when he was taking, and uh, the money was just because he was so hungry and starving for his people, and so he was raising the money for to feed his people, and, and yeah. so I, that picture says a lot too. I'm just. Wow. And he has a million pictures too, and there's some of them that I, I really like that one. Good picture. Beautiful. Wow. You know, before we go on, you drew a picture of a turtle with feathers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that was a wonderful picture. I fell in love with that picture. And we're using it for our All Nations Enrichment Program at CTC. So that is the logo. I thought we had a picture of it here somewhere in the back. Um, I'm not sure. If Maybe they can find it. But what we did, we had it on a T-shirt, and you've seen the T-shirt. Yes. Well, here it is up here on the screen. There's the, the uh, logo that you drew, and I thought it was fantastic. So we have it on a T-shirt, and our youth wear it, the youth in the program. And what they did is they are preserving the, pardon me, in, uh, preserving the environment by using recyclable bags. And here it is on the bag. Oh, we darn. And so we're, they're passing these, oops, wrong way. <laughs> Are you getting that there? They're giving these out to people in the community to, get, you know, to help them uh, stop using plastic bags because they're just damaging the environment, damaging uh, Mother Earth. And so they're passing these out. And um, they've been giving them out. In fact, they, uh, I think we have some pictures of when they gave them out at uh, a meeting last week. And they gave it to one of the elders in the community and they were presenting it to him. And there was a meeting, a large meeting of community people that took place. And the students, the youth walked around, gave these, got donations so they can get more printed and they can give more out. So they raised quite a bit of money just giving them out free. And there on the screen, you'll see where they gave the, um, the bag to the chairman of La Raza Roundtable. That's Victor Garza, he's Kickapoo. And they, the girls were presenting, that's uh, Yokoshka, that's my goddaughter, and Sochi, Trinidad. And they were the ones going around making a presentation to all the people in the, in the uh, audience there. And there they are presenting the bag to Victor Garza, the chairman. 
So again, this is your work, and I want to thank you and present this to you so you can take it to the grocery store well, with thank you, you very and much. make sure, in fact, I have a couple more here for you well, for your you family. Thank you very much. And I'm getting used to using them now, and I hope you do at home too. In fact, sometimes I have all these different bags in the car, and then I walk in the store and I, like, I get my groceries, and I thought, oh no, I forgot the bag after, and I put my cart there. I gotta run back to the car, get the bags, come back, and so I won't take their plastic bags. And wow. I've even gone in the store and said, oh, well, let me take this stuff. Well, I'll just take it in the car. They go, you don't want a bag, I don't want a bag. <laughs> so uh, we're using the bags with That's your uh, picture on it. I tried right. to keep the picture when I drew for you. You said something. I tried to keep it simple and, um, and tried to get all the, uh, recognize the red tail hawk and the eagle and the, the four directions and then with the turtle, the turtle. Mm -hmm. So uh, I enjoy drawing it and I'm glad yeah, that you like and it's it. It's beautiful. And, um, we get a lot of compliments on it. As I say, the girls wear them on, all the kids in the group wear the t-shirts and we have it on the bag now. So we're going to be distributing these bags throughout the communities, throughout powwows and so forth. And, Good. And we have Johnny Clay's work out there. Thank so you. that's thank a surprise you for you. I know you didn't know about that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's carry on here. Let's see, where were we? Here's another picture of uh, Sharp Nose. I like this picture um, because it was just so dark. And I mean, everything was just jet black. And once again, the eyes, you'll notice in my comment, uh, what I really like to strive on is the, the, the look and the face, the intensity. And uh, every picture of mine has, I probably have something favorite about him. But this was another picture from Library Congress. Uh, he's in Arapaho. And uh, it really didn't say a whole lot about him um, that I could find that the research that I did. So. There's so much character in the faces, so much expression. You just look at them and wonder what they were thinking at the time, where they're, yeah. I, I get people when they, they see my art and they'll come, when I'm selling my art at powwows, uh, they come behind me. So I'll turn around, I might bump into somebody. They actually work their way behind my booth and they, are, they just stare at my pictures. They're real close to them. And at first it was kind of surprising me, but they look and they just stare at them. And they just, and that's the first thing they say is just the look. You can just see what they're, basically, you can see what they're feeling, what they're going through yeah. almost. Well, and it looks like a relative, huh? Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Here's a picture of Ishi. Um, I got this picture from one of the, uh, the biographies about him uh, from Berkeley. Um, I did a, 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 an art show at the, honoring Ishi at the uh, Sacramento Museum. And um, they asked me, they had called me and they said, do you have any pictures of Ishii? And mm -hmm. I said, no, but I can get some pictures of Ishii. So I looked wow. everywhere and I found three pictures. Well, I didn't know where they were going to put me in the museum. And, and they put me right, they s totally surrounded me by everything from, from Ishii. So it just worked real well. And it was just, it was quite the experience. Wow, that is fantastic. Tell us about the museum. Um, well, from that show that I was there, mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I got there, um, it, the, one of the um, curators uh, just loved everything about it, and I was honored. And I made some gift, I, make, I sell gift card sets, and uh, so they, they, I make card sets exclusively just for the museum now. Oh, and really? so that's an honor. And so, so we can go to the museum in Sacramento and buy your uh, uh, cards. Card, card sets, yeah. And I make a few other things for them also. Hair sticks, little acorn hair sticks. Really? So, yeah. uh, and I know that I'll be doing work with them for, and some other things that I'm, I'm making for them just for the well, museum. Well, that's quite an honor to be in a museum because they only pick the best for museums. I would like great. to believe that. That is, wow. uh, and so they're currently uh, making a, a, a gallery inside the museum. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm one of the first ones on the docket to uh, uh, get in there, so. Wow, well congratulations. Thank you, thank we'll you. to get you up in the Smithsonian too. I would like to, I'm yeah. working my way there, so. That's for sure, oh, great. Here's another man, uh, Nova, uh, from 1906. Um, I got this picture from Edward S. Curtis, along with uh, the majority of my pictures I get from Edward S. Curtis or Library of Congress or like um, even out of a book, an old book, people give me books and they say, here, you might, might mm. find a picture in here. So, but this is from Edward S. Curtis and I love his work and his natural settings and oh, the eyes are just so, 
captivating in, in his pictures that I just I just really love his work. So um, I can't get enough, and he has so many pictures, and I don't think I can draw of them, but I'm certainly oh going to try. Oh, gosh. It looks like a photograph to me. And my, this one is My fantastic. last and my favorite, but this is White Belly. Um, he is a Sioux Indian. This is from, I, I don't know where the photo, uh, Time Life, uh, one of their books, I uh, had this picture in there, so but I couldn't find who took the picture, um, and that is my all-time favorite picture. I think yeah, everybody I else like. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of people that really like that, but wow. I like that. Um, I entered that in an art contest in New York. Did you? Uh, but you know, you didn't win. What? I didn't win, <laughs> but uh, <It> was fixed. <laughs> yeah, they told that me not to give up. To oh, you just what doesn't win in one art show, the same picture can place first place. So. Wow. Thank you. Have you entered anything at the uh, Smithsonian? At the um, no, I'm uh, I'm waiting to get my uh, my my ID from our reservation, Round Valley Indian Reservation, and then from there, I can be labeled, uh, I can identified as a, a Native American crafter, mm -hmm. and then from there it makes me eligible to apply at these museums in different states. So that way I can, but that's what I'm going for is museum. Oh, that's wonderful. And, uh, they belong in the museum. That's yes. what I'm trying for. Yeah, so. That is fantastic. so where have you been? You've been in powwows lately? I was just this last weekend at Table Mountain Powwow. That was, I had a good time there. That was three days, extremely hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I had a good, I had a lot of fun there. Um, and then the week before this, I was at the um, Honor the Elders Day in Sacramento at the museum, uh -huh. put on by the museum, and that was a great time. Those people were just terrific. Now, was that inside the museum? Or? That was outside on the uh -huh. lawn by the Sutter's Fort, and uh, they had a, they fed the elders there. And well, tell us a little bit about where the museum is at, so in case you know. The museum is know in Sacramento, Sacramento on K Street, um, right behind Sutter's Fort. I don't know exactly the address, mm -hmm. but that would be the easy go down K Street and you cannot miss it. How large is it? I've never been there. Um, surprisingly, it looks like a little cabin on the outside, mm -hmm. but um, it's very large on the inside. Um, they, they have most of the California Indians. Uh, they have, a, I want to say, at least 30 to 40 um, different nations recognized in there really? and their, their crafts in there. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a really nice place. Well, I haven't been to that one. I've been to the one in D.C. Can you believe that? Oh, no. <laughs> it's this, too close, This right? is a very nice place, and huh. you wouldn't know that. And uh, I'll be going there a lot more than I have. Oh, I'm going to have to make a trip up there. We'll all have to go up there. Definitely. Wow. So can people go online and see your work and order work, or how, does, how do you yes, get your work um, out there? Yes, I have. You can go online, and you can access my information and uh, contact me through there. I'll respond to everybody. I'll answer your, your mail. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm putting it together. My nephew's been helping me with it, so I'm putting it together. So bear with me, and, and but whatever I I have, I can I can mail and direct to you. So and your website is uh, www.johnnyclayart.com. Wow, and that's uh, great. so and, and it works for me, and people definitely contact me through there. So I get all kind of uh, compliments and uh, orders through there. So do they order things that they see on there, or do they have something they actually want you, or a tribe that they want you to there's some There's some pictures that I have on there, mm -hmm. and uh, but for the most, it's people that I meet at powwows mm -hmm. in passing, and they will ask me about a, a specific um, item, and so I'll make to their to however they want it, and uh, I'll mail it to them. Or, but it's usually through who I meet in the powwows. Mm -hmm. How many tribes have you drawn? I think I have... Uh, uh, 225 nations. Really? Yeah. Wow. So. And do you choose which nations, or is it people come and request them? Sometimes when I'm at a powwow, people will sort through my pictures that I have. I sell eight and a half by 11 prints, and they'll sort through, and they'll ask me if I have a particular nation, and if I don't, I'll make note of it. And then when I go home, I tell them the people usually... Um, uh, if there's, if I don't have somebody that is on there, then I will have it by the next powwow. Wow. And so I will go home and I will get that picture together and I will draw that for them just for that next powwow. And if not, I will yes. still have that on hand so it's constantly growing. Mm -hmm. 
And when's the next power you're going to be at? Uh, Where's the next one? There's the next function is July 13th, I believe, and that's the Friendship House in San Francisco. Oh, okay. I believe mm -hmm. it's the 13th. And uh, that will be, I don't think that's powwow, that'll be a, a honor, it's another honoring the mm -hmm. elders, and it's uh, put on by the Friendship House. The mayor is supposed to be there. I think I saw the, the uh, flyer for that one. Yeah, that'll be, a, that'll, that'll be, be nice. There. That'll that's be a nice local. time. Yeah. Well, great. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you out there in the community and hearing about all these places you've gone and hey, definitely keep myself featured. busy. Featured, <laughs> yes. Well, it's wonderful to see you again. Thank you for coming on. I know we have a couple clips to look at, so we want to see something. Uh, we have a clip on Kenny and Carol Farmer. They're making quilts so they can preserve sacred ceremonies. and. And um, I'd like you to take a look at it. They do beautiful, beautiful work, and I've already ordered one. So I'm waiting for mine, and you can see some of the work they do. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Kenny Farmer. I'm from the Rosebud uh, Reservation in South Dakota. And we're here, I'm here with my wife, who, uh, who uh, helps me, and she, she uh, he uh, quilts these for a sacred ceremony that is uh, held every summer and the funds will go towards the Sundance. And uh, these are handmade Lakota star quilts by my wife Carol Apple. And our address is uh, 26903 290th Avenue in Wood, South Dakota, 57585, or you can call Area code 605-452-3433. And uh, I come out here every summer and I do ceremonies. Uh, we do Humbaletra camp and I just like to say it's good, good to be here. That is a beautiful quilt, and I can't wait until I get mine. That is gorgeous. So keep in mind they are preserving sacred ceremonies, and you know, when they do these ceremonies, it's hard to keep regular jobs and, and do this for the people and do this for the community, so they have to find other ways to, to keep them going. So this is one way. Um, I just found out and I don't know why I didn't know this, that you also bead. You made this piece that you're wearing right now. Yes, um, I made that in honor of my grandfather. My grandfather was in the, ar in the Army. He was a sergeant, and so I have a button from, his, from a, not from his uniform, but from an Army uniform, oh, wow. and so I made the rosette uh, around it. But I do a lot of traditional bead work. I make rattles. Um, you name it, mostly rosettes, basket pattern. You make the rosettes? I didn't know that. Yeah, a basket. I stay with California, so all my, I don't know how to make baskets, but uh, I can do the beads, so all my rosettes uh, symbol are their uh, basket patterns. Oh, really? Yes. That is beautiful. Well, thank you very much. Well, you're going to have to bring those on next time. So I will. So we can look at those. <laughs> now, I want to remind you to read Ellips Over the Door. And it's your um, weekly bilingual newspaper. So it's um, some of it's in Spanish, some of, a lot of it's in English. And you can find out about things that are going on in the community and um, indigenous things that will be coming up. So pick that up. And don't forget, ARP. Is it cricket? ARP. i got to make it cricket. It looks better that way. Anyhow, AARP. And they are looking out for the best interest of all the communities in the areas of health, in the areas of education, wellness. And what they encourage you to do is vote. Vote for the candidates that you think will bring, I'm choking here because I'm dying, <laughs> the uh, best services to the community. But at least I haven't coughed yet, right? I haven't sneezed, I haven't coughed, I made it through the show. And I'm glad you joined us with, at the show with us. 
So uh, there's a few things coming up in the community. Again, the National Council of La Raza, that conference is in San Diego, and it's the weekend of the, I think it's 11th, 12th, 13th. They're gonna have all the candidates there, The pre well, two presidential candidates there, so you can hear them. And a lot of issues affecting uh, people with the borders and a lot of other things. So make it down to San Diego if you can. Watch Native Voice TV every Sunday at six o'clock. Go to the powwows and look at this at Johnny Clay's beautiful artwork. Pick up one of the bags. Uh, make sure you don't use plastic bags when you go to the store. Use the recyclable ones. So again, thank you, Johnny, for being here. I really appreciate you being here. And we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you next Sunday at six o'clock. Good night.